I got expelled from high school for hacking sims, which was a learning database at the time. So I had two police officers come into school and escort me off premises to my house. And uh, that wasn't very fun. But, <laughs> but my speciality is humans, believe it or not, even though I don't like you, but that's my speciality, uh, is the human side to security. But this is a social engineering process. So a company will say, Jamie, we want you to break into our company by any means necessary without causing physical damage or distress to employees. So I look through all your employee social media profiles. LinkedIn, anything that I can find online about them. Maybe they signed up to a forum because they wanted to know how to lose weight. Maybe they signed up to a gym and they was blogging about it online. And I build a profile about them. I'll find all the strengths and weaknesses and work out which employees to target inside the infrastructure. You've now got individuals reaching out to your employees inside your organizations. They'll look for their email addresses in data dumps that are publicly online and there's millions and millions and millions of accounts. They're not even hiding anymore. Realistically, when conducting attacks, you know, you do need technology. It is very, very important, right? But it's always the human factor that we forget in terms of security. Stop forgetting employees. They are the first line of defense. You know, they are the last line of defense in terms of infrastructure. You need them. The way that I teach cybersecurity is it starts in your home life and becomes second nature. Teach them, educate them, teach them about training, make it fun, make it interesting and enjoyable.